And then like it's 1982, she's got like four more scrunchies, like pink, 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 all down her ponytail. And she's, I don't even know, like she's whipping them things around like she's Charizard with the big old fucking cannonball on her tail. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic, fantastic day today. And I hope that you're ready because today we're doing a little purchase or pass action. And I'm actually pretty pumped about this because there have been quite a few makeup drops in the last couple of weeks that I really haven't had the chance to give my thoughts and opinions on. But anyways, onto my little self promo, my little self plug, if you will. Um, if you are new here, I'm Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They usually go up right around 7, 7.30 a.m. ish, my time here in good old Northern Michigan. Michigan, so we have like this bright early morning upload kind of thing going on so definitely subscribe stick around if you have not done so yet and then of course on to the most important thing okay the thing that requires both of my hands for me to talk about um my instagram okay if you are not yet following me on there i would greatly greatly appreciate it everything will be linked down below please go click the link and follow me i'm trying to get to 10,000 followers so i can get the swipe up feature and really instagram is the place where i always encourage you guys to go because obviously you know i'm trying to get to the followers and that's great and everything but really if you're wanting to see me like outside of just YouTube, if you're looking for more content or just more of me like in the day-to-day -day realm, it's definitely where I go the most outside of here. Um, whether it's in the Insta stories, doing like unboxings, just hanging out, taking a walk with you guys, or talking about, I mean, honestly, talking about God only knows what. Um, I am pretty active just in the day-to-day -day in the Insta stories. Also really love to hang out with you guys like in just my upload feed as well and do, you know, everything from plus size fashion, which is more casual to business casual. I kind of like to stay somewhere in that relaxed kind of range. But I love uploading those kind of pictures, and I also love doing makeup kind of photos, uh, makeup IGTVs, application, testing products, and it's really just kind of a fun way to do, for me at least, uh, kind of like the mini version of YouTube, where I can just have more content, different types of content, and still be a lot more relational with you guys and just hang out a lot more. But anyways, I would greatly appreciate it if you would follow me over on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. And with that, let's go ahead. I'm going to pick back up my Diet Coke, and we're going to get into this video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with one that I'm not sure if I've talked about or not. I can't, I honestly can't remember, uh, but it was posted back on August 17th. This is from Urban Decay and they are teasing the Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator with medium coverage and up to 24 hour wear. And you guys, <laughs> I am so excited about this. I've looked for more information on this, kind of just hoping that other things would pop up because it's been like almost three weeks since the teaser. And at this point, I am not seeing any more information. So I'd love to hear from you guys if you know anything. Honestly, for me, this one is summed up in, in a pretty easy statement. I just love to test foundations. Like, this is what I do. I don't care if it's a matte foundation, a hydrating foundation, or anywhere in between. I just love testing them. Um, I, I just really love, like, the experience of foundation, what it does to your makeup. And I'm truly, like, I know it sounds weird, but I'm just truly fascinated with foundation and how it really changes, like, based on every single person's individual, you know, skin tone or texture or their skin type and just how they even like to do their makeup. I think it's just so multifaceted and just so interesting. And I just, I'm always excited at the opportunity to test another one. So I'm very pumped about that. I know it really doesn't say much, but uh, I'm very excited. So get ready, y'all. Buckle up. Toot, toot, beep, beep. Because this bitch is coming through with this foundation review. Okay? Okay. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Here's another good one. Um, This one mm, almost got me, bitch. Like, I added it to the cart and everything. And that would be the liquid eyeshadows from Natasha Denona. These are their chromium liquid eyeshadows. And oh! <laughs> bitch. Okay, let's just talk about it. I saw this and I was just, oh, I can't believe how beautiful these look. And I'm just going to be honest, the only reason, okay, the only reason I did not buy these is because I had just, and I mean just purchased the entire collection of the Beautiful Mess Liquid Eyeshadows from Dominique Cosmetics, which I did talk about those in a full video. I'll link it up here. I do a review. And I've also, actually, if you follow me on Instagram, I did a beautiful eye look in what video was I wearing that? I was wearing it in, I don't know what the video was, but I'll link it up here. Um, and you guys asked for a tutorial. So I actually had just put that over on Instagram. If you guys didn't see it, it's like a really gorgeous kind of mermaidy Ursula. Oh, it's got like purple and green duochrome, like bitch. Mm, it's beautiful. Like it's one of my favorite looks I think I've ever done. So again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's there. But anyways, getting off topic a lot here, evidently, um, the purchase of those liquid eyeshadows is the only reason I didn't pick these up. And I have heard, I think I've heard some good things. I haven't really been watching a lot of YouTube lately. Cause you guys know, I've just been busy and not feeling good, but I've, I've, I think I've heard good things. 
things and I would be curious to pick up a couple of these just to test the formula also to be honest like just on the flip side here I'm just playing devil's advocate I don't know if it's the same formula but I did test out the original um, liquid eyeshadow from Natasha Denona it came out like maybe a year or so ago and when I had tested that one I did not like it so I don't know if the formula is the same but oh my god okay that formula stung it like burned my eyeballs like I'm talking power of a thousand suns power of a thousand bumblebee assholes on my eyelids okay it stung them so bad they hurt and they actually got kind of like puffy swollen like super irritated and I don't know if that's just a me thing I didn't hear it happening to a ton of other people so I'm assuming it's a me thing but like bitch ow so I am like a little bit hesitant I think rightfully so to test these out uh, but at the same time they're kind of beautiful and I'm kind of into it a lot so like I'm you know I'm not sure on this one like this one's kind of like a like maybe but like kind of kind of possibly because a couple of them are really pretty Paige pull up your top nobody's gonna buy the damn cow if you're giving away the milk for free what <laughs> am I 87 did I just say that out loud we're not gonna talk about it okay I'm sorry what the fuck <laughs> what is this guys we need to just <laughs> We just need to have a conversation, okay? So I'm scrolling through trend mood over on Instagram. I'm just doing to do like living my best life. What is this hair doing? Stop it. And I just stumbled upon <laughs> this thing, this ad from Charlotte Tilbury. It is <laughs> it is the Pillow Talk push-up mascara. And I'm gonna put obviously a picture on the screen for you, but this is the ad, okay? This is the little graphic that they are running. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but is that supposed to be Charlotte Tilbury riding the <laughs> Pillow Talk mascara? Like we are we are taking this pillow talk and I've talked about this so many times this whole pillow talk empire that is just like I mean I feel at this point like it just encapsulates all of Charlotte Tilbury and I, I always thought like oh it'll just stay to like that pink family like you've got you know pillow talk one two three you got you know you got some lip liners lipsticks you got a palette a couple palettes you got some blushes like I just I always figured it though that it would just like stay in that happy little pink ranged family and now <laughs> now we have pillow talk herself being ridden like a damn broomstick and I just I just cannot with this graphic. And I think the most ironic part of this and like all of the mockery and everything aside, um, I will be testing this mascara because I love testing mascaras. I love testing um, anything like this that can just give your eyes like that really good pulled up volume. And I mean, truthfully, if she's gonna be riding this mascara, like bitch, I need to know if I can ride it. I need to know, I need to know if I can get down and if I can ride this mascara. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're done. We're done with this analogy. <gasps> Paige, stop it. <laughs> Move on to the next thing. Move on quickly. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this one, I actually had a question for you guys, and it's something I don't think we've talked about. I actually don't think, yeah, I don't think I've mentioned this in any video, but there, and this just made me think of it. So K KVD Vegan Beauty, which used to be a Kat Von D Beauty, um, or Kat Von D, yeah, Kat Von D Makeup, Cosmo, I don't know, something like that. But anyways, now it's KVD Vegan Beauty, and it is now sold at Ulta. There's an entire line, and I wanted to, they're, they're launching, by the way, if you're wondering what we're going to talk about. Um, this is their Epic Curl Vegan Lash Primer, and this made me think, and I kind of wanted to ask you guys, get your thoughts and opinions, leave everything in the comments. Do you want me to do a video testing? KVD Vegan Beauty or do you want me to kind of leave it alone? Do you think everything's the same like formula wise um, like for what it used to be back when it was Kat Von D? Um, I personally think that for most of the products, okay, I personally think that a lot of the older products like the foundations and stuff like that, those are probably the same formulation because they would be, you know, crazy to change something that people already love. It did get me to wondering about some of the newer products that they had launched. Like uh, they, they, I think there was a new primer in there, an eye primer, um, like this lash primer, just like some newer items that I was kind of like, hmm, like, is it worth doing a full video on, you know, like KVD Vegan Beauty as a whole? Or is this something where I should just incorporate, you know, a couple of the items just like I would with any other, you know, full face new makeup and kind of throw them in that way? Like, what do you guys think? Is it, or is this even a brand you care about? Uh, because I know some people, they still hate it and it's like not their thing. So whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear them down in the comments. Just trying to gauge really if it's something you guys care about, like as a brand or, you know, not so much because obviously that's something that I care about. All right, now next up, this is one that I think launched back yes on August 20th and it's just something I wanted to give a little shout out to because I thought it looked so freaking gorgeous and that would be the newest launches actually from Elsie Cosmetics. Uh, it looks like they launched a multi-dimensional blush for $29 each and then their chubby sticks for $23 each and you know I know at this point we've seen chubby sticks we've seen blushes we've seen it all but I feel like with Elsie Cosmetics there is like this beautiful kind of light fluffy elegance to their packaging and I 
just really love the fact that everything is always so beautifully done. Again, very sophisticated feel, but also very like happy, cheerful. Um, it's not, they're not really a brand that goes like so like dark and intricate and like that whole thing. They're more like an upscale, fluffy, just happy kind of vibe. And I just, I don't know, I always get like good feelings looking at their makeup and it's always so beautiful and gives me very like summery kind of feelings as well, which I really enjoy. You know what? The more that I look at this, I think I might have to get one of these blushes because I love the fact that in that blush, it's going to have so many different like tones and undertones. You know, it's going to have the pink, the coral, the light little pop of pearl. It's going to have a little depth. It's just going to, I feel like it's just going to have like all the best like parts of the blush. All right. So we're just going to have a really quick talk about something because I can't, Mm, I can't. Okay, J Lo is coming out, and there's no information, by the way, at all. But J Lo is coming out with J Lo Beauty, and I like forget the fact, okay, that she's like mid and the, the in her mid fifties and looks. I can't even speak. She is in her mid fifties, I think, and looks fucking amazing. Okay, like head to toe. Wow. Uh, but also, you know, Hollywood plays a big role in that, like money, abilities, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so take that out of it. But her fucking skin, her face, everything about her is just always like it. She's like, I, like she lives an airbrushed life. Okay. And honestly, don't we all like in one way or another, whether you like full coverage, light coverage, tinted cream, like I don't care. Okay. I, I don't even care if you wear foundation, but don't we all just want to have skin that looks like, even if it's not perfect in terms of, you know, like acne or scarring, don't we all just want it to look like healthy and have that glow because I feel like, you know, I'm not one of those people that feels like, oh, if you have imperfections, acne, whatever, like it has to be covered because I don't feel that way. And for me, like her skin, it isn't even just about the fact like it, yes, it's airbrushed and it's gorgeous, but like it looks so healthy and so vibrant and just so like, I just, I keep the, this, this is all I got for you. Okay. This is my only description because she looks like she literally just glows. Like she's got JLo glow and it's a real thing. And I just, I would love to know like what she comes out with and you know even more than that too like just on uh, me being a nerd kind of level I would also be curious to know if these are products that she helped develop like does she know the the base of them like what goes into them um, and really like the ingredient level to them that like do they impact your skin do they help you achieve like a long-lasting glow maybe even if you're not wearing makeup like truthfully I just have so many questions and I have so many things that I need answered and I'm just I'm on board for this okay her skin is beautiful it gets beautiful and I just I need to know all the things okay i need i just need to know all the things oh bitch what is this y'all know i can't just like zoom right on by the chanticai post what does this say well it's available now so I'm, I'm glad that i missed whatever the launch was uh this is back on august 26th it said that they released their safari collection eye trio and it's like a three shade little pan with a little brush for says 75 dollars wow and they also released their lip veil for 48 dollars which I, I think i've tried their lip veil these are just new colors that are launching and and oh my god, I actually kind of love that like dark kind of nudie, deep plum brown situation. Like, damn, that is, oh, that's really pretty. Okay, all right, Chantikai, like I see you. But they're embossed with an elephant and embellished with a shimmering tonal overspray. Okay, so it looks like like the, sh the shimmery part on top of them, that is just an overspray. So you're gonna get a burnished gold, a strong copper, and a soft taupe. All right, never mind. It looks like they are actually shimmer shades, but they just added like the overspray for like the, the look of it in the pan, which honestly, I can totally understand, especially, you know, like living in the year 2020. I feel like the look and presentation of a product is like half of the deal. But then on the flip side too, like I'm that person, you know, now that I think about it, I actually usually hate the overspray on a product because once you wipe your finger through or like put the brush on it or whatever, it's like, well, where the fuck did it go? Like, where's all the beauty? Where's the reason that I purchased it? But without getting lost in that one little minor detail, um, my God, is the packaging uh, adorable, especially on those little lip balm things. Oh my God, the little elephants. Oh, so cute, you guys. I love, I love Chantikai's packaging. Oh my God, moi, chef's kiss, bitch. It's so pretty. All right, so let's just talk about something you guys really want to know if I'm going to be reviewing, and that is the Rare Beauty launch from Selena Gomez. Gomez. Obviously, as of the date of me like sitting here filming right now, I have not yet tried these products, but I want you guys to know that there will be a full video of this collection coming because I was actually really excited, very impressed, um, especially when I was going through the website and just kind of looking at the claims, looking at the products. Um, I was just really blown away by everything that she decided to launch and like how she's really kind of encapsulating her brand, like how it looks both aesthetically and the products that she's launching. Like I'm just very intrigued at so many different aspects of it. 
So obviously I did plan on doing like a full video for you guys, you know, kind of diving into the collection, giving my thoughts, my opinions. But then I hadn't also really planned on like every other YouTuber in the entire stratosphere um, getting a gigantic PR box and also doing a video. If you guys would still like to see, you know, my video on it, I would greatly appreciate the thoughts, the feedback um, down in the comments. But as we sit right now, I'm still waiting for my package. So you know what, let me put it this way, okay? I'm not just waiting for my package. I am waiting for the tracking information that I was given like two days ago. I'm still waiting for that to like work and actually tell me where my package is, like when I'm gonna get it, am I gonna get it, will it ever be received? I don't know. At this point, really, I guess it's more of a question of if, if and when I ever get the package, this elusive package that they're claiming they sent to me, although it can't be verified at all. Um, please let me know down below, like once, once and if I ever receive it. Do you wanna see a video? Let me know. You know what, while we're on the subject and we're just getting down into it, I might as well put my damn phone down because Natasha Denona launched the Glam Palette and you guys, Huh. Like my level of excitement, okay? I know I say this all the time about Denona launches, but this palette looks so good. And this is coming from someone that like often is the most neutral basic ass bitch. And I don't even reach for like super deep, like sultry tones that often, but oh, honey lord child, okay? I saw this palette and I was like, here, take my money, take take my, you want a finger? Like just take everything because I need this palette in my life, okay? Okay, what the fuck was that. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know who I am anymore, but you guys seriously, I think I'm just huffing in a little bit too much of this candle um, Also, I'm sweating profusely because I don't know why but all of a sudden I'm having a hot flash and it is so Fucking warm in this body. You might be thinking Paige you could take off your sweater You could take this off, but I can't take off my sweater Okay, because I love it because I want to be cozy and I want to be wrapped in all the sweater cuteness because I love sweaters And also this might be one of like my favorite sweater purchases that I've ever made because as a side note I got this during the Nordstrom anniversary sale Honestly, I know we're not here to talk about my sweater, but like I just feel the need to like show the appreciation um, Especially when I stop and consider the fact that long story short This was actually purchased on accident I had two in my cart that looked similar and I thought that I had deleted the one that was more expensive and oh boy Was I wrong? Honestly, I don't know where I was going with this conversation <laughs> But um, anyways, I bought this Natasha Denona palette. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get it either um, Because it just nothing shows up here in northern Michigan like nothing nothing gets delivered Which by the way pause pause pause. Okay, I have to just mention mention something I need to ask a question um, and I keep forgetting even though I'm literally sitting down to film constantly it seems but I need to know from you guys should I get a P.O. box because here's the thing okay where I live in northern Michigan um, <laughs> as you know like there's a lot of tractors and cows and like open cornfields and shit but like I don't live like dare I say like near a post office okay like like a post office like it's it's quite a jaunt obviously like if I have a P.O. box like I'm gonna go and pick the stuff up but like I've always wondered is that something that you guys want me to have um like like is it worth it or do you like not care like do, I, don't, I don't know how my people feel about it because i've never asked like you guys want me to have a p.o box do you want to be able to like send me stuff not not that anybody needs to obviously but like is that something that you want or not so much like what how do we feel on this topic because i know that i've been on youtube for like almost four years and i'm a little bit late in asking all of these very important questions but just you know randomly you know from me to you what do you guys think like is it worth me going i'd, I'd probably go i'd like to say probably like the town maybe two towns over if not maybe more by the way for anybody wondering like Paige why would you have to go like so far away like uh, you know extra towns over and I'm just gonna be honest with you the town that is the closest to me that I could use um, I've had to use them before and uh, I'm just I, they're kind of bitchy okay and when I say kind of bitchy I mean the spawn of literal Satan himself like we are talking okay this one girl this is just a fun story for you and then I promise we're gonna finish the video but this girl okay she has got <laughs> she has got a scrunchie and y'all know okay I've got scrunchies all over like I love scrunchies. I'm not I'm not hating on the scrunchie. But bitch, I think that she has them things in her head so tight that they cut off the circulation to her kindness because this woman has a fucking scrunchie on the top of her head. I'm talking hair and a ponytail. And then like it's 1982, she's got like four more scrunchies, like pink, pink, pink all down her ponytail. And she's, I don't even know, like she's whipping them things around like she's Charizard with the big old fucking cannonball on her tail. And I just cannot, okay, with her and her meanness. And she's just like, mm, like, do you want anything else? And I'm like, well, I mean, yeah, like maybe a smile. Like, is that too much to ask for? So I guess to recap, uh, I did purchase <laughs> the Natasha Denona palette uh, for anybody that actually cares about the purpose of this video and what I'm supposed to be talking about. You know what? Just from there, let's segue into like a quick one. Um, Milk Makeup just released their Hydro Grip Setting and Refreshing Spray. Sorry, apparently I can't read. And I am very excited to try this because for me, it's not about like the, the Hydro Grip Primer because I do think that one was kind of overhyped for what it was. Uh, but I 
did like it, don't get me wrong. That's a fine primer, but it's nothing like, oh my God, like it's not, it's not something that I think you like, you know, the, the world begins and ends with or anything. But I'm just a big fan of setting sprays in general. I love to test them. I actually have, I think three or four more that I need to test like sitting right here. And I'm just a big fan of setting sprays, like I said, in general. So I will probably pick this up at some point and test it out um, just to see kind of how it works because it says that it's gonna set your makeup, hydrate your skin, and give you that good like glassy glow and it also looks like oh it looks like uh, in the the price here it says that it has an $18 and a $36 option so I'm assuming they have like a big and then kind of a mini so I'll probably start off with the mini just to see if it's good but yeah I'm, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna get in on that at some point I'm not sure when because again I got three I got to test out I have about a hundred to use but at some point I'm probably gonna try that because it looks kind of delicious all right so this one I got a legitimate <laughs> fucking giggle out of this okay this is from makeup eraser and Spongebob they did a collab and all I kept asking myself, okay, all I kept thinking was, who the fuck are these makeup erasers for? Like, what? What? How old are people when they watch SpongeBob? Okay, I'm 30. I love makeup eraser, but I don't give a shit about SpongeBob. Like, it's not something, okay, that I really care. I don't know what <laughs> this was like a TV or something, but it's really not something that I care about. And I just kept thinking, like, people that watch SpongeBob are typically, like, I don't know, what, like 10 years old, maybe, like right around that age and under. And are those people buying makeup erasers? I think what I struggle with is is the marketing behind it like why Spongebob <laughs> like why why not put on there like okay here, here's my thought process hear me out all right if you are if you know kind of like your target demographic is like say uh let me pick like an age okay like 25 to say 45 25 to 35 something like that I would think as as a company again not even necessarily makeup eraser but just like any company I would say like what what means a lot to that age group what are some things that are going to pull at the heartstrings of these you know 20 late 20 early 30 something people and I would be thinking like okay let's do some hey Arnold let's maybe do some Rugrats like let's really get in there hell let's maybe hell you want to fuck it up a little we could do some Ren and Stimpy we could do some cat dog okay we could really blur those lines even go Power Rangers all right if that's where we're at but like I really just or ooh Sailor Moon those would be cute as shit doing some Sailor Moon ones ooh, so adorable but like seriously why why Spongebob like that's I think that the problem I'm having is more so with the characters than anything and maybe it's just that I'm like a little bit disassociated associated with like the age because I'm 30. Maybe these are targeted for like, you know, the 20 somethings of the world and I just can't relate because I'm old, which is totally fine. Also, I never realized up until this moment, okay, that SpongeBob was like so triggering for me because wow, I just got going to like a point of no return. Like I'm sitting here just like yelling at a camera talking about a SpongeBob cloth. <laughs> like what, what is my life? What is happening right now? I don't even know. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video here because my poor dog is currently scared shitless because there is a windstorm. I don't know if you can hear it in the background or not but there's a windstorm outside that is starting to rattle the walls and the windows and stuff like that because she's a rescue dog it just terrifies her all to hell so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go cuddle her snuggle her and, and try to calm her back down but before you guys leave don't forget to go down into the comments give me all of your thoughts and opinions whether it is on the video if you still like seeing these like if, if you still enjoy purchaser passes um, or if it's on new releases in general what I talked about stuff I didn't talk about wanting to know if I'm gonna be picking up a different collection anything like that just leave it all down in the comments like I said at the start of the video please don't forget to subscribe turn on your post notifications before you leave and most importantly of all go follow me over on instagram again everything will be linked down below and i think that that is it you guys thank you all so so much for watching please don't forget to have an amazing day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and i'll see you in the next one bye it's okay sissy it's all right i'm gonna come right out right now okay baby i love you hey baby i love you please no running game say my name say my name okay i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry you're stuck with me <laughs> this word dog is just like bitch what, what are you saying over there i love you that's what i'm trying to say i love you so much oh you got such a scratchy little boy come up here say hi oh you are gonna come up here and say hi Oh, what a big girl you are. Are we gonna go snuggle? Are we gonna go snuggle, Boggle Bean? Oh, you must know. Oh, yeah. You know, get sissy kissy. Oh, sissy loves kissy. Oh, thank you, sissy. Sissy loves kissy. Yeah, you're such a baby. You are so pretty. I know, it's okay, we're gonna go lay down. I needed both my hands for this action. I just need to really, you know, get you going. I need to get you to come with me, okay? Come with me. <laughs> okay. If you are new here, this is Paige. I'm Paige. The, I, I am Paige.
This is Seeking Alexandria page. You say this every fucking time. Rule of the story. <laughs> I, I, I bought the Natasha Denona palette. Um, I, I don't even, did I just say Denona or Denona? Welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day to shut up. Oh my God, my allergies. Oh, you guys, oh, my eyeballs are just pouring. Mm. Hey, Paige, nobody likes a complaining little wiener. Just pick a fucking thing and talk about it.